holla holla, dala dala. What's up, it's Keith Kelfus, landscaping employee trap. In this video I wanna talk about when you're talking to uh, customers on the phone, the way you answer the phone, how you can tell your, you know, what's exactly going on. And so I'm gonna break it down in this, this video and I hope you get something out of this. As soon as I turn on the camera and my nose itches, I swear to God I'm not picking my, my nose, my nose itches, we just did a mulch job. So, the phone just rang. It rings all day, literally nonstop. People all over the country, um, people trying to sell you stuff, telemarketers, people trying to get you to first page Google, blah, 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 nonstop. It rings 50 times a day. And a lot of people are calling that want quotes and estimates, okay? As soon as the phone rings, rule number one, if it's not the area code, there's only two area codes that I'm gonna pick up this phone. If I feel like it, Okay, if I, if, here's one thing I've learned, and trust me, if you wanna learn how to get better and more efficient at something, there's no way I could get better at faster, I'm trying my hardest. Wait till you got so much crap on your plate and you are so busy that you literally have to start, like you ever start a job or something or anything, you're going all slow and taking your time, the first four hours and then the fifth final hour, you're just flying. <laughs> Well, it's because you had to find a way to get that thing done. This is, I think it's Parkinson's law going into effect saying that the amount of time you have is the how long it will take, right? If you got time, you're gonna blab away on the phone with someone forever. But here's these little distinctions that I'm obsessed with. I am a sucker for punishment. I love tests. I lie about it all damn day, but I love being tested. I get myself into little tiny weird situations all the time so I can learn that experience and very grateful for it because you get to learn something painful on a very small level and ah, the micro equals the macro as is above, so is below. I'm gonna talk about some really deep stuff now and I know that you can hang because I know you. So as soon as I pick up the phone, it would get, like I said, if it's not the area code, I don't pick up, but as soon as I pick up the phone, as soon as they talk, I can instantly feel the vibration that, that they're coming from. It's not a match. I instantly know it. And it's not, it's actually, it's a hell yes or a hell no. And maybe a little in between, but as soon as you get that feeling, there's really nothing else to talk about. You're just wasting each other's time. Now, if you need money, if you're rooted in needing money, you're going to go on a lot of wild goose chases and oh maybe I can get a dollar out of this. <laughs> now really experienced contractors whether they can articulate what I'm talking about or not like I learn uh, in the CSA group uh, the Shin Fu method like literally these guys when they're role playing it, I talked about it in another video there's uh, a contractor group uh, they're doing this role playing and this contractor does you know high six figures a year uh, some of these guys, they're doing in the millions, even. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. So, but anyways, the way they talk on the phone is, you know, all right, all right, Bob, they're talking to the customer about installing like a $30,000 pond or something. Well, you know, I'm not gonna drive all the way across town unless I know that this is a for sure deal and or you're, you're really darn serious. Now, it's not the same exact words. But the very attitude and way of being of really professional contractors, which I aspire to be, you know, is your time is so effing valuable that you are not going to let some customer who just wants to waste your time and get a free quote and they're not even serious. If they're not at that level and they're still in the tire kicker stage and they just want to feel it out, let them go through those other guys first and then they'll get to you and then you will calibrate to where like meets like and water seeks its own level, right? You'll be able to feel it instantly. You ever talk to somebody and you just, they're just, they're right there. You know that you, you should, you better not mess with that person. You know that even though they're very nice and they're smiling, they'll bite your head off if you disrespect them or you cross them or whatever that is, it's subtle. There's gross, subtle, and causal energies. I've learned about this in David Data's, not David Data, but Way to the Superior Man, but Ken Wilber. Ken Wilber has a book called Cosmic Consciousness, and he's actually created these grids of lines, level, states, and stages of consciousness. See how I'm doing this with my finger? He also uh, wrote a book called The One, Two, Three of God, and it has nothing to do with religion or even God. He's just talking about frequencies. David R. Hawkins has an amazing book, The Power of Letting Go, and 
they can actually measure the calibrations of these different frequencies and when you get good and you tune it like a tuning fork in your mind body connection your spirit then you can feel these subtle vibrations and the nuances of other people's voices you, like you can't help but to feel it and then you become what other people would consider to be a psychic psychic like what are you talking about Keith I, this stuff blows my mind because you can read people's minds thoughts feelings and emotions and know exactly where you're going now if you want to play around on the phone with them if I pick up the phone and the customer has a certain tone of voice see my customer I'll start asking them a whole bunch of qualifying questions okay sir are the uh, the bushes and all the garden beds whatever excuse me <laughs> this big huge gigantic bush or small ornamental tree you want trimmed or thing you want replaced is it in the front yard or the backyard okay are there any obstructing power lines okay is it close to this what about this okay what city are you in and what are the cross streets okay and how long have you wanted to have this done I'll even go as far now okay uh, if they want an install have you have you put together a budget for this have you thought about a, you know a, a budget you know, what do you think that someone like this, what are you thinking, Bob? What are you thinking? Okay, can you send me some pictures of it? Like, I'll put them to work. <laughs> and draw them all the way out on a string to the point where, um, in a very professional way, to see what level they're at. Otherwise, I don't want to waste my time anymore. Now, I still, we all get caught up in these things, or maybe not all of us, I know that I do. Um... Now, everything I'm saying in this whole video is me learning. Like I said, there's guys like Ryan Cooper and stuff like this, and what's up, Ryan? I'm not saying that you're like a millionaire, Ryan, but guys that are more higher levels than us, or at least me, that feel like, dude, I wouldn't even have wasted my time doing that. Like, why would you do that for 800 bucks, Keith? That's 1800 bucks all day. I walk. Like, I, he, he uh, I, sometimes I talk to Ryan Cooper in Ohio once in a while, and he, like, just gets it. Totally gets it. Because... Here's a person who leans into the pain. That's what Joshua Latimer talks about. You lean into the pain. When you stick your head in the sand in life, you're just effing yourself. I'm trying not to cuss here. You're just screwing yourself. Whenever pain comes up, some happens, say, um, your health insurance or your tax return or, or your insurance rates go up or maybe your rent or your mortgage or any type of thing that's scaring you got your heart pounding because you don't have the money for this and you're already working a million hours a week you sticking your head in the sand or getting angry or having anxiety um, over the top is not going to do anything but make it worse this is what differentiates successful people from the unsuccessful that I'm learning is people that ignore that you have to value your time and your life so much and the people that you love that you're willing to be a soldier and, and, and cut through the bullshit and be willing to also cut through other people's bullshit and have a clear sense of definiteness of purpose in order to and I, and I promise you if you're not there yet you do a little bit of the shit that I'm talking about it'll start to come together for you. It will start to come together for you. Definiteness of purpose can be attained through hypnosis or, or meditation. It can be through hypnosis, but meditation, uh, hours of quiet time alone, uh, cutting out drama in your life completely, even dramatic people, and getting yourself to places of, if you're stuck in your head and you're just like going crazy and you have this uh, anxiety, I have anxiety, reconnect and center with your body. Force, like, uh, I mean, relax and calm down in the midst of the storm. If you have fear overtaking you for legitimate reasons, take that fear, push it down into your stomach, and you control that fear. You control the fear. See? You control your fear, and you keep it at bay. You are the boss. Because if you let your fear control you and run you up, it's it, you're never you don't win you're just going to keep repeating these lessons over and over and over again but i'm showing up at the customer's property because the mulch guys dumped the mulch and the lady can't get her car in the driveway and it's late as hell here and i gotta move this mulch real quick all right oh hit the thumbs up subscribe and all that stuff dog oh i got some amazing stuff coming down the pipeline i can't even say it it's a secret it's a secret i'll put i'll tell you one thing i'm gonna be getting on a plane very soon here <laughs> All right, peace.